You know, it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, it's going to be the Arcade Rewind Slim Edition review. Just to check out what I'm actually going to get. This is the new generation of Chinese arcades with absolutely cool new features, including light guns. But the question remains how is the quality and overall of the light guns? How will they actually work? And is this going to be a lot of fun or is it going to be absolutely a lot of shenanigans? Nevertheless, we do have a lot of great games to test out. And not going to test out all of them, of course, because there are so many of them. The disappointing was that this particular model didn't come with a trackball. It would be a very cool addition to it. Maybe some spinners. That's another thing I'm still missing out. Maybe I'm a little bit too nitpicky about it. But the overall quality of the controls were not bad at all. The joystick felt a little bit weakly. But the overall experience was quite good when you're going to play some fighting games. And when it comes to the buttons, the same long travel ones we see a lot in Pandora's boxes. Not bad at all. Okay, so the display they are using is a 32 inch. We also have like a bigger model, but this is a 32 inch. I think it's a very nice size with a very thin bezel around it that also implements the LED for the light gun. The overall quality of the panel is an IPS panel and it looks absolutely stunning. But the new generation also comes with different amplifiers and speakers. And finally, they managed to do it right. Let's turn on the machine and let's see what we're actually going to get. So inside the machine, we're going to get the games family. I can tell you I have reviewed this separate board and the games family is a quite out of date concept. Pandora's Box is a very new and way better way to play. But the Games Family does have some very cool appealing things to it. First of all, they are running this on a Windows based operating system. But the other thing is, the Games Family, especially the first editions, were pretty damn bad. With, let's say, disk drives in it that started like failing and overall was absolutely in a lot of misery. But with the new generation, they did improve it. But when you're looking at the menu, it still looks kind of, you know, let's say, messy. I wish they completely give it a layout overhaul and fixes the problems with the previous models. Nevertheless, let's try out some couple of games and I will show you what they did. First of all, I think we're going to start off with a shmup, a very cool game that you don't see often when it comes to final on the Pandora's box. Many different games that play just fine on a machine like this. Pandora's box or this game's family. And I personally had a lot of fun. Unfortunate, the only thing is that there was no aspect ratio option so far I know. So what you're actually going to see is what you're going to get. Of course, I just wanted to check out one of those weird homebrew games that are on here. And I can tell you that a lot of them and one of these like Metal Six fake version is absolutely a lot of fun to play. And I love the soundtrack. I've noticed there are a lot of very strange Mortal Kombat one on here. One of them was this Ultimate Ninja version. They were absolutely nuts, but the game in overall runs pretty great. <laughs> Another game I wanted to check out is the original arcade version of Soul Edge or Soul Blade on the PlayStation 1. And yeah, this is also a game that runs quite nice when it comes to the overall frame rate. But the audio did sound a little bit messy. So where we had a lot of problems when it comes to Tekken number three, I just want to check out number two. The other thing is I have this very strange bar on top of it, but beside that, the audio, but also the gameplay runs just fine. Ah! 
So one of the cool things of the game's family that it supports actually Killer Instinct, the arcade games 1 and 2. There was also the N64 Super NES version on it. Nevertheless, it's pretty damn cool to see these games running because Pandora's Box can still not run this game. <laughs> When it comes to the game family isn't hit or miss but how is it with the light gun so the overall quality of the light gun are let's say not really comparable when it comes to the original g con they do come with very long wires everything has been attached in the inside of the arcade machine and i must say they as well are just long enough and they look and feel absolutely quality another thing is very nice it comes with pedals so we can reload with time crisis or use a grenade with terminator stuff like that and they are tiny, very compact, but they are very nice. Made out of metal, come with rubbery feet, and overall, the foot switch is absolutely nice quality. But the light guns, yep, when you're going to compare this with the say a G-Con original from PlayStation, it's absolutely not a one-on-one -on -one copy. It doesn't have any additional buttons, just the one on the left at the right, but it comes with built-in solenoids, and they sound quite nice. But what you can hear is when you're going to like click a lot, the solenoid cannot keep up. So you cannot play the game like Terminator with an instant solenoid rapid fire. But let's take a close look at the overall games that are on here. So over 100 different games, a lot of really old ones that I personally didn't check out in this video. I just want to mainly focus on a couple of them like Point Blank or Terminator, Time Crisis. Just to see and benchmark how will this system actually run those games. But when you're looking at it, there are more than plenty enough games on the games family, the light gun section. And that, I must say, that they did an amazing job. There are a couple of double ones here. You can already see that we're having different kind of games. Like Wolf 3 is basically in three tie-in different kind of regions. Still no idea why they are doing this. But the overall game list is not too shabby. So let's start off with a classic one, House of the Dead. And the game itself runs pretty damn nice. I had a lot of fun playing with the light guns and I think it's a very cool new feature. The consideration that you need to have quite a distance for getting like say the LEDs like recognizing exactly where you are. That was the only thing I noticed and of course some games were not playable or great. So especially when you're looking at Time Crisis that game wasn't running that like it should be. A little bit of bummer because it's absolutely in any jam. They should have went for the PlayStation. But at the front, we're going to get ourselves door number one. And with door number one, we're going to get ourselves the coin operating mechanism and, of course, the coin collector. That's basically what we're going to get. And, of course, way more stuff. Because here we can find all of the hardware. They even added two of them. And I can tell you, they are not for the PC that is the inside. But they did add some crazy hi fi Bluetooth amplifier. That is absolutely better than the tiny ones I've seen before. The mini PC is then basically in here. There are the L famous games family that will be running on its own power supply. There's just this cheap power supply when they're just giving you with this. The JAMA converter for the input but not for the light guns because they will be connected separately with a power supply which you can see over here. One of these two, just a barrel jack connection for giving the recall some extra juice. For example, with the Sindon, we don't have that. But okay, the connections go to the mini PC itself. So for the buttons, it's just the Gemma and the USB from the light guns to the PC. 
Here we can collect the coins if you want to put it in coin operation. And at the back, we're going to get into the monitor. And here we can basically swap the cables or plug in a new cable if you need to. Nevertheless, the overall experience was quite nice when it comes to the overall quality of the machine itself. But the game's family is unfortunately not perfect and it comes with some problems they should fix in the future. I want to thank you all for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell and let me know in the comments what do you think of this device. And it would be great to see you in the next video.